the world has been turned on its head. It almost seems as though it's completely falling apart. Saliva's all when they do it. Nature reclaiming, with deer returning to Johannesburg. Loose social distancing interpretations. Engines being sold. Cape Town refusing to stay at home. And wild feral herds of gyro still aloft. A deep happiness stripped from us. Thanks to Rotax who built the engine so f***ing well, we had to think of something else for the video. Perhaps something not too sexual and pertinent storage information for our fellow aviators. Pushing it to the gate here, yeah. uh, and then I'll just start it up here. Yeah. How lovely, huh? We get to push an aeroplane for the first time in 40 days. <laughs> Can't fly it, but I can push it. Better than nothing. Yeah, South Africa's a uh, little hectic. All the Americans, they can uh, fly around doing their own things, having a great time, and here we are pushing aeroplanes for fun. <laughs> Shit, dude, this is some some intense stuff. If this plane doesn't start, I might just cry. It's not even a joke. Done our pre-flight though. Made sure everything's intact, everything looks good. Now all we have to do is start the plane. Okay, prop. And just to make sure everything really was working, we decided to run a few high-speed taxi runs. Poised, run-ups done, we looked fairly official. Maybe we could have been executing some super special high caliber government social distancing Mr. Delivery test survey to finally put general aviation out of business once and for all, all due to the fact that pilots are actually COVID-19 and anthrax. Everything seemed good on the run, all top of green, but something looked off. Suddenly, the most unexpected, horrific thing happened, confirming all of our fears. He didn't take off. We're two very good boys, trusting the government and abiding by the word of the CAA. All I want to do is just like build like a log house in the middle of the bush somewhere with my own private runway. Yeah. I'm not worry about any governments. I'm not worrying about any coronavirus. Okay, yeah. you ready for this? So ready. The big showdown. Um, I don't think there is anything connected here. Yeah, no, there isn't. Okay. There she is. Ooh. Look at that girl. What is it? Day 5,000 it feels like. Day 5,463. <laughs> but I mean seriously, here we are. Probably like day 50 or so now of this lockdown. Day 50 of not flying the plane, because we flew the plane the day before lockdown. And uh, here I am, voluntarily taking off the cowling, just so we can have a look at the engine. Um, as per road tax guidelines, we don't necessarily need to fly the aircraft in order to uh, keep the engine maintained from corrosion and stuff like that. But here we are, just prevent, doing some preventative maintenance that we don't need to do, because that's how much we miss flying.
That thing, you, you tell the older generation that by calling on WhatsApp, it's free. And they're like, oh, we're only going to do this now. I'm off. So it's also only called on WhatsApp. There we go, dude. So we haven't flown for about 45 to 50 days now, so it has been standing for a substantial amount of time, but not too long in terms of what Rotax says is a long period of time. So basically these engines can actually withstand about 24 months um, without having to be used as long as the right precautions are in place. You need to run the engine up to a solid temperature for about 5 minutes as long as the temperatures are stable, the oil pressure is stable, your EGTs and your CHTs are all stable. And the next thing is just to pull the top spark plugs, make sure that they're all clean. We'll replace the oil, so we'll empty out the oil that's already in the engine itself and we'll replace it with a special oil that has an additive in it which protects the engine from corrosion. And that should then protect this engine for up to 24 months according to Rotax. We'll briefly go through all the other things on the aircraft as well, so not just the engine, we'll go through the tires, uh, we'll go through pitot tubes, fuel, um, and then testing all the controls, checking all the attach points. Tires this big sit for long periods of time. You'll tend to see that a flat point will start to form at the bottom of the tire and completely deforming the shape of this tire. Um, so we'd like to, every now and then, perhaps every month or so, move those tires around, get some movement in them, push that air around the tube um, so that we don't get any of those flat points. Another thing to do would be to apply pressure to the brakes every now and then, or at least I think that you'd need to apply pressure to the brakes just to make sure that your master cylinder inside your brake is still working and still moving nice and lubricated. Just check all the attach points that none of the bolts are rusting, um, the wheel itself isn't rusting. Make sure you check your feeder tube. In the out case we've got two ports. Um, one for high angles of attack and one for normal angles of attack. Uh, make sure that there's nothing blocking these tubes. Uh, and check your static port, this is a static port. The last thing to get to would be all the attach points on the actual airframe itself. So where the struts connect to the wing, make sure that the bolts haven't rusted. Um, a good way to test that is if I come to the tip of the wing here, and anything may have rusted or anything is binding inside the actual wing itself you would hear it if you push the wing up and down like this all right and uh, you'd probably hear a good cracking noise and see some cracking in the struts um, and then perhaps on the ribs of the actual wing itself check the flight controls what i did when i got inside the aircraft is i gave the flight controls a good amount of movement uh, we moved the rudder elevator and flapper on on this particular aircraft just to make sure that they were all still lubricated and um, perhaps you could even lubricate them again before that first flight after the lockdown and it's a huge excuse to come see the plane we get to push it around you know it's, it's not quite as fun as flying but i mean it's still a heck of a lot of fun and nice to see the plane again sure the day was bittersweet but we'll be flying again soon and to end it all off, we did promise something sexual.